Hey guys, Tarko Cyclone FPV, and I had a customer ask me about the QX7, which uh, if I do a screen, a split screen here, you will see. So we've got a QX7 here, and asked me about the R9M long range uh, transmitter or module, and how to get it to recognize. So I figured I'd do this really quickly. Um, I'm actually going to cover the entire uh, R9M, and uh, if you can see here, the R9MM setup. So I'll put a whole video together, and this will be the first part of it. But I'm going to start with this only because, um, not with this part of it actually. Uh, start with this part because uh, I was asked a question today and I feel like I've got some time to get it done. So here's the deal. Uh, I think the question was basically uh, he's got his R9 M module and he's not able to get it to detect in here. So here's what we're going to do. The first thing you're going to want to do, and this is not including any uh, firmware updates, and I think I have videos on that already on our website, but um, and I'll put some links on that. Uh, but if you go to our website, you can see our drop down videos and find it. Um, but here's the main thing. So obviously, once you put this uh, device in, right and again you have not done any firmware updates yet right so we're going to go ahead and turn this on and what you're going to notice on the back you do have a light here right and this light's going indi to indicate if it's getting power and let me just go ahead and get through these okay so there's nothing here there's nothing detected here and that's because you haven't activated inside the menu of your model so i'm just going to pick a model for example on mine so i'm going to find a long range i think i had a long range model on here at one point um, let me see if I can find it. And if not, then I'll just pick something random. Uh, and I don't see it here, so I'll, I'll just go with this one. It's called Big Quad. So let me just select that one, okay? So what you're going to do is on this one, I want to make sure it didn't come on yet. So uh, you're going to press on here, you're going to press your center button, which is your menu button, and you see your model here, and then click Page, right? And then at this point, you need to come up here. And, <coughs> excuse me. And the mode is where you're going to be at first, right? So you're going to select your mode here, and we're going to be looking at which one we want to mess with. And in this case, we're not using any internal. We're going to use our um, external, right? So we're going to come down, and we're going to go to our uh, keep going, and you're going to find your R9M as an option here, all right? So again, once you select that, then uh, you can start binding. And here's the thing about this, right? One thing that you need to note is that I turned off the internal, Okay, uh, because, um, let me go to D16 here, all right? I turn it off because you can still activate your R9M. The problem is, is when you bind, okay, you lose um, your uh, telemetry functions. So in order to have telemetry when you bind your, uh, your long range, you need to come up here and you need to turn off your internal. So just turn it to off. Press your center key, come down, and then on your external, again, it would be looking like this right now, and you want to go to take it to look like R9M FCC, all right? And then you can then go to your bind, and then you're going to see your options for telemetry, all right? So you have these options set, uh, set up. And once you do that, you're going to see your power light come on here, all right? So you have to make sure to follow that routine. Once you do that, you're set to go, all right? And that is the very quick, very uh, short uh, video on this, but that's usually where everybody makes a mistake. So again, my rule of thumb here is turn off your internal entirely so you can have telemetry features on your external. Turn on your external, search to R9M. However, make sure you go to Fry Sky's website or go to ours. We have it under one of our um, news posts, our tutorial posts, all the downloads that you need. But you also do need to do your firmware patches um, for the module, for the uh, uh, transmitter itself, and for um, uh, any receiver that you're going to be used that's uh, that you're going to be using with it. Okay. If you have any questions, hit me up at targetcyclonefpv.com. I hope this helps you guys. Uh, always try to help out if you need it. Just hit me up, and I'll try to put a quick video like this together. We are under four minutes almost. I just talked over the four minute mark. Anyways, uh, we'll see you soon. Cyclonefpv.com, guys. Safe flying. Talk to you later. Bye.